Wait to hear him and Steve singing meatloaf stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, really? We're preparing for our big meatloaf interview for tomorrow, and yeah. meatloaf uh, canceled but, on us. But apparently he's leaving New York. Another yeah. bullshit excuse, I'm sure. Oh, of meatloaf course. Canceled. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll find out. Let's find out if he's really going to leave New York because I, I know he was supposed to do that premiere tomorrow night. Like his premiere. Own, like we were invited or something to his movie thing. Like, Tomorrow night in New York City? Yeah. So yeah, let's it, find it, out it, if he's it, really leaving New York. We're getting the blow off. It, why, he's not leaving New York if he's got a premiere tomorrow. This is bullshit. Let's ask Roland. What did Roland say? Oh, well, let's get Roland on the phone I and did, find uh, out. I did. Well, wait till you hear these guys singing Meatloaf. We'll still play the Meatloaf stuff that we had prepared for I the interview. I can't wait for the big uh, hit, Paradise by the Dashboard. You got to hear the wolf <laughs> one. Oh, really? You know, what's that song where they talk yeah, about the wolf? And, with the red rose. With and the, the red rose, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, it was making me laugh pretty good. I'll All right. let you know a little secret. One take, Kenny didn't do so good on that song. Uh, oh, no? no? No, it was... It was <laughs> Meat head. <laughs> it just goes on way too long. Meat you're gonna dope. Go, you're going to go from laughing <laughs> to get a really annoyed, and then you're going to laugh by the end of it, because it's just, it's just uh, awful. And uh, we're going to see about meatloaf tomorrow. My agent is working on it. It's certainly not from his end. Um, it's the film company or the publicist. The managers didn't even know about it. Really? So this is not Meatloaf the artist. No, it's the publicist or the film company. Once again, I don't remember them uh, getting credited with singing any of the songs. But that's that's why always, are they making the goddamn decisions? That's if it's the film company. I can't express to you how ugly I'm going to behave towards that mm -hmm. film company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're probably L.A. based. They just go a radio show. You know what though? You can't fight City Hall. Right, regular Joe? Regular Joe. What? That's your bitch. It's my impression of Jimmy's impression of regular Joe. So I was just kind of ripping it you off a little bit. scramble eggs, regular Joe. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, oh. We're not going to get meatloaf. Maybe they'll give us potatoes. You know, regular <laughs> Joe can be funny, too. And yeah, no use <laughs> crying over spilt milk. That's right. You know? <laughs> Whoever I, cried I, over spilt milk. Man. It probably depends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably on. Jake LaMotta's kids. <laughs> As they knew a good eye blackening was coming. Or Connie, if she fucking spilled some milk. Oh, yeah. Carlos waiting for his whores. Clean it up! <laughs> you guinea brat! I can't stop pinching my cock. Big F you going out to Meat Love today. He blew us off. He, uh, he blew us off. Yeah, but it's just like he was going between two PR firms. And Roland was dealing with them, and they said it was confirmed, and then uh, they're like, no, we didn't say it was confirmed. Meanwhile, we've had it down for today at 8 o'clock, and Roland said they absolutely confirmed it, and we had copies, advanced copies of his movie. Yeah. So why do you give out advanced copies? I don't know these people. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you who the people are. Uh, one of them is from Murphy PR, John Murphy from Murphy PR. I, I don't know if he's right or wrong. And uh, there's a, a Marley Wilson, Wilson from Vroom PR. Maybe mm. people have dealt with them and they know, uh, I, I don't know. I have no idea <laughs> if any of you uh, know either one of these guys or, uh, and know if they're legit. Maybe they are. We're I'm just sick of being lied to. Tired it, of it. it. It's just amazing. And, people uh, love lying to this program. Oh, yeah. The bottom line is, and then the answer is, well, he's not doing any press today. Oh, so today really? So never an okay uh, thing. But he was doing press. They asked us if we want meatloaf. So what happened between us saying, yes, we want meatloaf, and today where he's not coming on the show? He probably... Uh, see, the thing is, originally I didn't fault him. I'm like, you know what? It happens. The artist doesn't always get the message. But now I know the managers and stuff know mm -hmm. that uh, we have been promoting this and all that stuff, and they're still douching us, and he's not coming on. So that's why I feel comfortable attacking him as well, uh, because he could have come on. And he just doesn't want to. He wants to probably stay in bed, and uh, you know, instead of coming on and promoting his his, his completely average <laughs> documentary, <laughs> we'll Super. screw him. This is not exactly Katrina you're covering. <laughs> what, why is his uh, documentary average? That's wonderful because I I didn't even bother watching. Why it. would you? It, I don't know because it's about a man in his late fifties. Yeah. This is the whole. This is the whole thing. It's about him on tour. And, uh, you know, 2007, because we've all wanted to know, what is Meatloaf like on tour? <laughs> and um, it's about him, because he does Paradise by the Dashboard Lights, and he yes. acts it out. He, well, yeah. He acts it out on stage with a much younger dancer, uh, a singer, who's actually, she's a very good singer, in fairness to her, her name is Aspen. 
And, uh, How much money did that cost him? Mm. Believe me, it had to be a lot. <laughs> $80,000 over the course of 10 years, I believe. <laughs> the critics brutalized him and how awful yeah. it looked and she looked like a little kid and he just looked gross <laughs> it's so funny just to watch this fat idiot <laughs> falling apart at the seams trying to act like the critic reviews don't bother him and then he's like the big mystery is what's he gonna do mm -hmm. oh fix it how is he gonna fix it because he has eight shows before they film the dvd oh no now what does he do eat i'll tell you what he does <laughs> here's the big here's the save yourself the money he decides to put on the wig like the old days, and then make it like it's it's a retro. Oh no, he doesn't. Yeah, so that's what this guy does. He he puts on a wig, and they all the whole meatloaf band has to go out there in Halloween costumes <laughs> and pretend it's the seventies. And so he's kind of like reenacting the video. You remember the famous video of him in the tuxedo? Oh, of course. Who could forget? Yeah, it was just it was just a moment. And they, they reenact mm. that. And then there's one point because they can't do the kissing. It's just too disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Where he has to just put his arm around her. And they both have to stand there and look at the screen. <laughs> it's horrendous. Oh, wow. That's what your idea of compromising and, and making this palatable to critics is? Maybe that's why he's not coming on the show today because uh, the reviews are just getting really, really bad and he's embarrassed. Well, that was the live show. Who I don't even know what the reviews of the documentary are. But uh, he was a real dick to the guys who were filming him. It was really... Uh, I had a bunch of questions for him. I was so annoyed. Yeah. The questions. I, I, I see a whole list of questions for Meatloaf, Jimmy. Yes. What's on that sheet? Well, I I, I, I may have allowed it to annoy me a little bit, so forgive uh -huh. me. Okay. But I felt, why can't I ask my Meatloaf questions? Yeah. I had a, 10 questions I was going to ask Meatloaf, but I amended them slightly with my mood altered. Okay. Oh, okay. The original one, one question was, uh, was it uncomfortable being filmed? You seem to have a terse relationship with the camera crew. <laughs> I just okay. I changed that a little bit. Uh, why were you such an incredible douche to the poor slob <laughs> who drew the short straw and got stuck filming you? <laughs> that might have been my bitterness creeping in. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next question was, uh, I was amazed at how hands-on you were with the stage production. Has experience taught you that the only way to get things done is to pay close attention to every detail? Mm. Well, very nice. That's a good question. Yeah. I... I kind of amended it, though. Uh, what bothers you more, the fact that you're a monumentally charmless control freak or the fact that all your attention and focus adds up to mediocrity? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is the thing. Cause this is kind of charming. He uh, goes on stage with a, uh, a jersey of the local sports team. Every sure, time yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In every city you play it, I noticed you wore the jersey of the local team. You a big sports fan? That was the question he was going to get. Oh. Um, and, and 3A would be, uh, have you always resorted to such groveling, wormy tactics to win over an audience, or just since you lost your voice? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, wow. Like, what a dick. I, 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 I love it. I, it's just the original questions. Um, you know, Jimmy, I, Jimmy calls me yesterday as I'm uh, outside. We're a weird show, man. I'm outside Elliot Spitzer's uh, apartment. Part of the media frenzy, just taking it all in. My phone's ringing, and it's Jimmy. I'm like, hey, Jimmy, what's up? He's like, we have to just beat the hell out of Meatloaf tomorrow on our show. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. No, you don't understand. I'm writing questions. I'm ready for this one. I was so irritated. It got one star, by the yeah. way, this uh, In Search of Paradise. Good. That was generous. Was yeah. It? Uh, and, and there's one scene where Meatloaf is looking, because what he does is he's very ritualistic, as a lot oh. of artists are. Sure. And he uh, goes over the night before's performance like on the cd and he listens to it and i guess that tells him what he did right and wrong you know it's, it's a whole thing with this wow place. but apparently in the hotels one of the maids accidentally threw out the cds oh god oh, wow well. talk about the tension building <laughs> so i wanted to say uh in one of the hotels the maids were cleaning your room and threw out a recording of the previous night's concert wow were you able to recover that cd at all because mm. i'd like to know That's a little mystery question. nice a little yeah. mystery yeah. Yeah. I, I, I i may again maybe bitterness crept in uh for a uh, did it ever occur to you that the maid who threw out the CD did so after listening to it for five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, this is the problem with the concert is that the, the acting out of uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Light, the critics were, were killing him for it. So I said, uh, many critics felt like the acting out of Paradise by the Dashboard Light was inappropriate due to the age difference between you and the girl. Did you get any sense of that from the audience? I think it's a legit yes, of question. Course, sure. Um, <clears throat> 5A. 
Your acted out rendition of Paradise by the Dashboard Lights was the most embarrassing, campy piece of garbage I've ever seen. <laughs> Not to mention, you look like a bloated suburban dad trying to recapture his youth while making one of his daughter's friends uncomfortable. <laughs> the critics justifiably crucified you for this. Comment? <laughs> Comment? <laughs> Jimmy, you guys do more writing for the Opie and Anthony show. This is, this is wonderful. Um... Well, and this is one I've always been curious about, yeah. number seven. Right. Uh, now, I've heard that you got your name because your father called you Meat as a derogatory reference to your weight, and years later, one of your coaches called you Loaf. Now, is that true, or have I been spending a little too much time around the rumor mill? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a joke question, kind of. I felt like shortening that in my, 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 uh, my pithy mood. Uh, is it true that people call you Meat Loaf because you've only written three good songs since 1974? <laughs> <laughs> a, I love. It. I felt that was just a little easier. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, just a couple more. Um, there's a montage of you complaining about all your. Me, oh, this is kind of charming. He's got like a lot of ailments and things that drive him. You know, bad yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, there's a montage of him complaining. So I wanted to ask him. There's a montage of you complaining about all your ailments. Have you always been a bit of a hypochondriac? Yeah, I'm hoping that wouldn't be a bit much for him. Uh, and then I amended that to. Uh, I always knew you were fat. But I never realized you were such a whiny jerk off. Does that tend to annoy everyone around you and cause them to hate your guts? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, two more for the meat. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but to silence the critics, you came up with a pretty ingenious way to perform Paradise by the Dashboard Lights that would be comfortable for the critics and yet enjoyable for your audience. Mm. Did you find yourself getting more favorable reviews after that? Nice. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> 9A. Since you apparently have the artistic integrity of a child pornographer, <laughs> you allowed a few bad reviews to force you to change your douchey presentation of a song we're all tired of anyway. So you made the band dress in 1970s clothes while you humiliated yourself by putting on a girl's wig and a tuxedo so you'd look less like a pederast and more like you were paying tribute to a 30-year-old music video. <laughs> Did this blind the critics to the awfulness of you acting out this song and garner you good reviews? Or do they continue bashing you for not only being campy, but for being a sellout whore as well? That was a little wordy, but... <laughs> but effective. Oh, effective. Yeah, but we get the point. And the last one. All right. Number 10, a real sexy part of your stage show is when you get to kiss the lovely Aspen Miller. Mm. She's the, uh, yeah. the girl. Oh, yeah, sure. Va, va, voom. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the age difference, any sparks flying between you two? Oh, okay. And uh, uh, how many times did Aspen Miller threaten to walk off the tour unless you doubled her salary? And after one of your big kissing scenes, did you ever notice her backstage crying and scrubbing her mouth out with a toilet brush? <laughs> Just a few questions I'd like to ask the meat. I wish he would have... Uh, look at the picture! Shown up. Yeah, look but at the, the picture of him... Oh, my God! In his, that... uh, in his dad jersey. Look, dad it's... going to the uh, high school football game to it's... root on his son. And uh, Dad is flirting with the cheerleader. Just with that. The underage cheerleader. With that stupid... He looks like every radio sports guy. Yeah. He, and he's, he's got to stand there and sing, and we were barely 17, and we were barely dressed. Yeah. And yeah. she looks 17. Well, she's barely 17, and he's... And he... Uh, he's barely holding on to the 50s. Ooh. Yeah, he's like 57 years is old. Is he 57? Hey, we got to get that picture up on onaradio.com because it is downright creepy. Hey, uh, John oh, from Virginia writes, guys, oh try to find the audio God. meatloaf performing I'll Do Anything for Love on the Today Show. It's horrendous. And then Stephen S. from Bayshore, what happened between the booking of meatloaf? Hold on, I lost him. Uh, what happened between booking meatloaf and today? Three words. Baby, diaper, mustache. Really? Nah, I think that uh, he just probably wants to stay in bed and doesn't want to get up. And his managers, uh, instead, they probably, I'm sure that they, they know about what's happening and the fact that he was promoted all day or for a week and he's still douching us. Yeah. And uh, again, it's the PR firm. I gave you the names. Maybe some of you know those people. I'm, I don't know what happened. Right. But if any of you have dealt with them, uh, maybe you could ask them what's going on. I have no idea. That We're, is the creepiest picture. Yeah, we'll get this yeah, up. It looks like Tom Arnold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a big fat Tom Arnold. <laughs> Just singing with a girl who needs a gig. <laughs> She's really attractive. But watching them, like their little groping, it's like stop, he, he's using it as an excuse, it looks like, just to oh. kind of put his hands on a younger woman so his wife doesn't <laughs> smash him in the face. It's really uncomfortable. Who's singing back up for them? Chris Hansen? <laughs> it should be. It is really creepy. And uh, one, uh, one star is, is a gift. Very good, Jimmy. We were ready for the Meatloaf interview today, too. We had all sorts of production oh. we did. And uh, we're actually like... Uh, 
like working on this radio show again. It's, Are we? It's quite terrific. Yeah. We should, um, because we do uh, go into the production studio. Yeah. And we prom uh, we promote yes. the guests. Yes. Uh, that are going to show up, and uh, a lot of times uh, they haven't shown up. Yeah. So we should just start promoting huge stars. Sure. That won't show up. That's re that's a very good idea. I mean, why not? Hey, catch the Opie and Anthony show tomorrow when we have um, whoever. I'm you know. hearing tomorrow we got Barack Obama. All you uh, have to do is say, okay. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. Word word is. Word on the street. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh my oh, yeah. God! They're all, they're kissing Jimmy. This yeah. is so bad. Look at the size of his head compared yeah. to her. It, it looks like a wildebeest kissing a hot <laughs> chick. It's uncomfortable. It is. Why is Tim Sabian kissing that young girl? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> a little inside, but a few people out there are laughing. Uh, it's <laughs> just it's uncomfortable. If he had any any, if he was an artist, he would have made because it, it is extraordinarily campy. Yeah, and you can't watch it without going ugh. ugh. He would have had like a big monster yeah. chasing him around and made it funny instead of vainly attempting to capture some sex appeal yeah, or some of kind of 30 relevance. years ago. Yeah. And for Meatloaf, uh, talking about this scene that we're grossed out by, we did a little something with it for our big Meatloaf interview today. Here he comes. right there I gotta know right now before we go any further do you love me will you love me forever do you need me will you never leave me will you make me so happy for the rest of my life will you take me away and will you make me your wife do you love me will you love me forever do you need me Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away and will you make me your wife? I gotta know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Let me sleep on it. <laughs> baby, baby, let me sleep on it. <laughs> let me sleep on it. I'll give you my answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you my answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you my answer in the morning. That's actually sexier and less creepy right. than what he did in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away? Will you make me your wife? I gotta know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Like What's it gonna be, boy? Uh, Come on. I can wait all night. Ew, What's daddy. it going to be, boy? Yes or no? What's it going to uh, be, boy? Uh, yes or uh, no? Uh, 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 let me sleep on it. <laughs> let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. You answer in the morning. I got to know right now. Do you sleep love me? It. Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away? And will you make me your wife? I gotta know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? And will you love me forever? Goodness gracious! Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen! Sleep on it. Will you love me forever? I couldn't take it any longer. Lord, I was crazed. And then the feeling came upon me like a tidal wave. I started swearing to my God and on my mother's grave that I would love you till the end of time. I swore that I would love you till the end of time. So now I'm praying for the end of time. <laughs> No you sense hurry up and arrive. Music. <laughs> Cause if I gotta spend another minute with you, I don't think I can really survive. I'll never break my promise or forget my vows. But God only knows I can do it right now. Praying in the end of time. All I can do. Praying for the end of time. I can end my time with you. Okay. 
Again, <laughs> what did, did he think he was going to get a better take? I don't know. I love the enthusiasm of Closer to uh, Canada. He, he jumps right uh, into his role. Steve, though. Oh, they just, oh, and like the uh, metal on the edge of a knife. Uh, yeah. We had him do another one. This one's a lot shorter, but uh, you know that wolf thing? That meatloaf? Uh, well, I, don't, I forgot the name of the song, but uh, I guess he was trying to get another mm. Paradise by the Dash. I think it was took thing. the words right out of my mouth. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, well, we had the, like the boys do the beginning of that. This is a, a lot shorter. On a hot summer night, would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? Uh, will he offer me his mouth? Yes. Will he offer me his teeth? Yes. Will he offer me his jaw? Yes. Will he offer me his hunger? <laughs> yes. Again, will he offer me his hunger? Yes. And does he love me? Yes. Yes? Yes. On a hot summer night, <laughs> would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? Yes? I bet you say that to all the boys. <laughs> uh, That's all you need. God. How awful is that? Yeah, it bugs me. It's like, it's like we're just a business filled with liars. Like, no one just Liars. He's straight up. Oh, yeah. Liars. The publicists are the worst. The PR people, the worst. Yeah. yeah. They just, they can't be, up because what they are, a lot of times, they're kind of, they're, they're fringe players in the sense that they're not talent. Mm -hmm. Um, so they have to be a part of it somehow. Um, so they just kind of, you know, leech and blood suck from the out. And they want the, the power, I think, that the uh, actual celebrity has. Oh. They want some kind of power in dictating what they do, who they talk to. So then they just, you know, lie. Bunch of liars. It really is irritating. It Absolutely. really is irritating. We also were uh, were uh, turned on to some more awful meatloaf audio. This is a quick Oh, beautiful. Might be a good way to start the show, and then Absolutely. we'll move on to more Bob Kelly audio. Uh, we got Bob Kelly acting that we got to get to. From meatloaf to meathead. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Bob, get call it? me a kidder. <laughs> uh, meatloaf, one of the listeners turned us on to this. He, uh, he kind of stood us up today. Not kind of. They're fucking, fuck him and fuck those fucking PR people that fucking douched us. I couldn't say that on, you know, CBS that way, but mm, of course fuck them. Not. Fuck them in the shitter. Motherfuckers. What happened? We were kind of doing him a favor, too. That's what's... That's... He did this dog shit documentary, uh, this fucking tedious nonsense, uh... You know, like a, you know, with, with the, the big thing was the camera crews were watching him because he was going to be doing a, a DVD in Canada. It's a whole who Ooh, gives a fuck big thing. Big build up to his big DVD. Uh, who gave a shit? And the mm. critics were attacking him because he does this fucking campy Paradise by the Dashboard Lights reenactment with the girl who's way too young to be doing it with. And it's just gross. And it's embarrassing. And it's like, dude, you're trying to be like fucking, what are you doing? You're wearing a football jersey. You look like an asshole. <laughs> he looked like a fucking asshole. <laughs> What, was he in today? Did he no, come he was in? No, he supposed to come in today. We were going to talk no. about his... I'm, I'm kind of glad he didn't, because what would I have said about this? I'm looking, I'm yes, looking. Yeah. Yeah. No, just show uh, Bob Kelly and Rich Voss the picture, because, you know, Meatloaf ages like a motherfucker, <laughs> and the, the girl has stayed the same age. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. It's just... <laughs> it's... Uh, E-Rock had pulled those pictures up, right? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll find... Because I need the name of the girl, so... Yeah. Uh, her name is, uh... What are we laughing Aston at? Miller. I'm confused. No, I was Aston laughing because Dan was like... Like, uh... E-Rock picked those up. Those pictures. It's hard to find the pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. She's really a pretty girl, and she's a great singer. But, uh, it's just... It was a whole gives a shit thing. And Meatloaf just comes off looking like a hypochondriac and a fucking prima donna. But now that he's 60 or close to 60, he's almost 60. His, the chick should be about 30. It's still... 30? She should be in her 50s. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> be, yeah. But I'm being polite. I mean, the girl he's using is barely 20. What's the matter? Why'd you hire this chick? Wasn't fucking B. Arthur available? You <laughs> asshole. Uh -huh. 
You fucking pompous asshole mistreating your camera crew. <laughs> that fucking shitty who cares documentary. Oh, what's going to happen? Will he quiet the critics? No. Don't waste your money. He quiets them by putting on a fucking wig. It's so embarrassing. He has to wear a wig so it looks like a retro tribute to that shitty fucking tuxedo video he did in the 1970s. Which it still probably doesn't look like because he's just a... Uh... A slob. And... Of course he is. And he's fucking, he has hair like Valerie Bertinelli in it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the wig. It's fucking horrendous. Look at that. It looks like John Candy right before he died. Oh, look at the size of him. He has the balls. That looks like Nathan Two Lanes. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a vest. Oh. He's got a buttoned vest on. Holy shit. Hey, it's fucking Hitchcock singing to a hot chick. <laughs> what these, the fuck? And it's... These pictures aren't as bad because those are a little older. No, you gotta see, you gotta the, see the new one where he, he looks Looks like your dad in a uh, football jersey. He's wearing the sports jersey, like the, the, that groveling fucking move. Every every uh, place they go, there it is. Look at this one. Oh, this, this one is the best one. There it is. The collared shirt under a she's, sports jersey. Oh, look, 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 she's still the same age from the seventies, and he's yeah. he's pushing sixty. It's fucking horrendous. <laughs> got a stupid football jersey oh, on. Oh, yeah. just what are you doing? Just dad going to the Look high school that. game. Look at him. Holy Look shit. at that fucking God. Tom Arnold creep with his awful pants. His fucking... What kind of fucking rock star <laughs> wears a fucking Chargers jersey with a collar shirt outside of it, you jizz bucket? And, and she looks like Punky Brewster. <laughs> <laughs> the little white boots. <laughs> kind of hot. Oh, she's, she's very sexy. sexy. hot Punky Brewster. She's yeah. sexy, but they have to do a little makeout. Mm. And it creeped people out yeah. so badly. Their fucking campy, awful reenactment. It's like a father yelling at his daughter that now. That is instead exactly of... what it looks like. <laughs> instead of Why, the he, he makes out with thing. her? <laughs> yeah, but it's, yes. it's, it's, it's just yes. gross. And uncomfortable with her Dorothy Hamill hair. <laughs> oh Jesus! And uh, yeah, they had to do a kiss, but it was it, the critics trashed him so bad. Mm -hmm. that, oh uh, God, this is it. Wait, here it is. Oh, oh look God. at that! Look at his sweaty head. His uh. breath is probably awful because he's been fucking drinking Red Bull and singing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking old man breath. Red <laughs> Bull and cheese breath. sandwiches. <laughs> Meatloaf fucking, again? Huh? His, <laughs> yeah. His breath like Tums. Fucking old <laughs> yeah. acid breath. <laughs> fucking rotten, sweaty brow. <laughs> Oh, as he gives me the fucking oh, creep. sweating all oh. over that. I'm happy. I think we're turning the corner here because for a while we were worried about uh, trashing people because we're trying to get more guests on our show. But at this point, you got to say, fuck them. And, and he uh, looks like he just walked out of OTB before he kissed her, just beaten uh, down fat yeah. old man. It's, uh, yeah, it looks like Colin Quinn making out with a chick. Yeah. And yeah, fucking, well, here's the yeah. people. You know? Here's the PR uh, people. Uh, uh, John Murphy. Uh, uh, MurphyPR.com. Maybe you guys mm. know John Murphy or uh, Marley Wilson. Uh, from Voom PR, which, I mean, how Voom PR? Is it Voom, V-R-O-M? Yeah, the sound a little car Vroom? makes when a child, no, Voom, V-O-O-M. Oh, V-O-O-M. Oh. Yeah, and, right, uh... because I've heard of Voom. They're the ones who did the, uh, <laughs> they're the ones who did this, Voom Media. And good not to fucking have them come on a nationally syndicated radio show that's on in two countries and replays. You fucking dummies. Well, you well, fucking dumb motherfuckers. And what was the excuse why I didn't come on? Can I ask? Well, there was a scheduling glitch. He was never technically confirmed. Really? Is that why you gave us two copies of the movie, you shit dicks? Two copies of it. We promoted it. We promoted that he was coming in. And then they go, no, he was never really confirmed for today. Turns out he's not doing any press for today. They say he's got meetings all day. Really? At 8 in the morning he has meetings? Do you think I'm a fucking dummy? Well, okay. yeah, but he doesn't yeah, have meetings. Yeah, yeah, with a district attorney. <laughs> Why would I ask that? Uh, Why would I ask that? So where do we, where do we direct all this anger uh, to? I we, we, have, we have pests out there. We didn't even ask them, but the pests have attacked the Boston Herald online uh, website and, and shut the damn thing down. Well, I would never just because we were making fun of the, the fat manatees up there. I wouldn't say go to uh, murphypr.com and attack them. I, I would only no. say to email John Murphy... Or, or, or maybe Marley Wilson at Voom PR. If you know them and if maybe you, you think that you have a rational explanation for what happened and maybe they, could, they would c contact you. You know, I would never ask anybody to, to, to write inappropriate emails. No. Only if, uh, you know, again, maybe you we have a lot of listeners. Mm -hmm. So if one of you guys knows them, you might go, oh, this happens frequently. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Are you uh, asking for the intelligent branch of the uh, the pest organization to take this one on? Yes, yeah, ser really serious uh, emails only. Only if you know them I or whatever. Yeah. I, I mean, we don't need junk emails, but the, the bottom line is they fucked us. And I, ca I called John Murphy yesterday myself because I'm like, we always beat these guys up. We never talk to them. And he's like, oh, no, it was never confirmed. And Oh, you talked to John Murphy? Yes, I did. 
And I'm mm-hmm. like, well, we'll just so you know, we're going to deal with it on the air tomorrow. I'm, we're fu- he goes, I know you're bummed. I go, no, we're not bummed. We're furious. We've had it. We've had tired it. Tired of being shit on. We're tired of it. Especially a meatloaf-sized shit. I, I know. It's giant. Exactly. Ugh, dinosaur. Fucking big, giant, thick, like a fire plug log. <laughs> it's but pathetic watery. that we were blown off by meatloaf. Especially mm-hmm. since he didn't have... If, if we he were turned too- up on Regis. We thought it might be a, yeah. a, a good little thing to check out. I'm you sure know? he'd be a good interview. The guy was at the Parkland Memorial Hospital when fucking Jackie got out of the car. Wow. Yeah. He saw Governor Connolly get out of the car. In Dallas? Yes. What was he doing down there? He lived down there. He's from Dallas. And he was in the hospital yes. doing what? Hopefully Getting he was a, in a, a book stomach depository. stapling? <laughs> <laughs> he was in a book depository. Like a fucking cockroach eating the glue that holds the books together. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. And, and it annoys me. The only reason I attacked him so hard today is because he fucking, his people knew, by the way, that we had been promoing this. It got back to his people, and they still uh, didn't have him come on. So fuck him and fuck them. Uh, as a yep. performer, if I knew a radio show, a national radio show had promoted me and stuff like that, and it was a mix-up, that was because of the fucking cocksucker PR people who don't give a fuck. They'll just overbook them and then go, oh, sorry, and they'll, they'll cut out what they think is the weakest link. So sorry you consider the Opie and Anthony show the weakest link, you fucks. Yeah. Fucking liars. Let's all just fuck meat now. Ooh. Fuck a meatloaf. Fuck meat. That's it. We'll let's make just, a meatloaf let's just drill get some a hole meat in it. And just start fucking it and send the <laughs> pictures to them. Mm. Here's the first uh, time I fuck meat. This uh, was sent in by a listener. Meatloaf on the Today Show. Um, first 30 seconds, whatever. But uh, it's the end of I Would Do Anything for Love. Listen to the weirdness in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> he went from his song to backup on his song. What the yeah. fuck was that? I heard. Uh, Jimmy, I, I got to ask you something. Uh, Josh from Rochester. Oops, I just accidentally attached a photo of a gaping ass with a pile of dicks in it to John Murphy. I was just trying to send an inquiry as to why Meatloaf couldn't come on the show. Could you apologize on air for me so no one else makes this mistake? Yeah. That would be bad, right, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah we absolutely. apologize for that. Uh, I think these publicists, uh, they need to realize that we uh, have a huge, faithful audience. And then maybe we wouldn't get, uh, we won't be blown off as much as we are. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, this mm-hmm. is my, uh, my questions uh, before. The questions I asked before, I was just wondering if the people in Pal Talk um, had, had had to listen to those questions and thought they were fine. Okay. Yeah. Back to the uh, ending of I uh, I would do anything for love. <laughs> song yes, to his wife will. today <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a vest and a big dumb scarf stop those fucking jowls from flopping outdoors she should get an academy award for the acting she was doing <laughs> oh, <laughs> on that stage oh my right. god she's looking she, in his eyes with lust are you kidding me yeah she was she's hot too god. she's calling the wedding band back now to go to them get it hey why don't you hand me over the post there uh rich make yourself use uh <laughs> useful thank you 
Here we go. We got more meatloaf from an A&E special that E-Rock found. Oof. We're obsessed with meatloaf today. More bad singing. Because he's a... Great. Hold on. And then you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> I put the, the food right in. Took the vocal cords out of your mouth, too. You took the nodes right out of my mouth. <laughs> what happened? He sounds like me in the shower. <laughs> He's not hitting the nose off flat. That is awful. He obviously didn't take the muffin out of his mouth. <laughs> he does sound like a tranny's peeing in his mouth. If only his, <laughs> if only his <laughs> belly was as flat as what's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, took that. the words right out of my mouth. Oh, that's stupid. I must have been kissing <laughs> me. Took the words right out of my mouth. He looks and sings like Big A now. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got... Two out of... She's... <laughs> 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 